So the local high school wanted the ability to play music during passing periods, and it had to be a way that was automated. So it wouldn't have to be the secretary running up, hitting play on an iPod, and then waiting for the appropriate time to turn it off. So, what the master, what the school has, is a simplex master clock, and um, what this clock does is it can control up to six circuits uh, with six individual relays, and it uses circuit one to control all the bells, which are just another digital unit plugged into a PA amplifier that drives all the speakers in the hallways, and then. I was able to program circuit 2 uh, so it could control an iPod. Alright, simple enough, right, so far. So it'll turn on circuits 1 and 2 at the same time, and then it'll turn off circuit 1 after 3 seconds, which is just how long the bells ring, and then it'll leave circuit 2 on for 4 minutes. And I'll turn that off and then it'll ring circuit 1 for 3 seconds again, and that signals the end of the passing period. So we have bell, music, minute of silence, bell again. Alright, but the question is, how do we get that to control an iPod? So, after quite a bit of digging around, have an iPod, and on the iPod's 30-pin connector here, uh, it has the ability to take in remote signals. So if you have like a little uh, iPod dock, you know, you stick your iPod in there, and then you, know, you have a little wireless remote, and you can tell it to go to the next song or whatever. So that's pretty handy. So what we need to do need to be able to tell the iPod to play, pause, skip to the next song. So when it's time for passing period, it'll play a song. Then when it needs to, it'll stop playing and cue the next song in the playlist. So <clears throat> what we have here is an Arduino. And this has three data lines here has this line here, which is coming off of the iPod, and this just tells the Arduino, hey, there's an iPod plugged in. And there's this line here, which is sending data to the iPod, and this has to do so through a couple of resistors, uh, because the Arduino runs at 5 volts, and the iPod runs at 3. And this is able to send the serial commands that the iPod is expecting, uh, the first of which is the command telling the iPod, hey, I'm a dock with a remote. And that's why it needs to know when an iPod is plugged in. So as soon as the iPod is plugged in, uh, it the Arduino knows to tell the iPod, hey, I'm a remote. Okay, and then we have another input here, which would normally be going to the master clock. So when the master clock triggers, it puts 5 volts on this line, which tells the Arduino that it's triggered. So when this triggers, the Arduino will wait for 5 seconds, which gives time for the bells to ring, and then it will send the signal to the iPod to start playing. When the master clock triggers off, which basically brings this input down to zero, uh, it will tell the iPod to stop playing and then cue the next song. So let me close that back in. So I'll tell the iPod to stop playing and cue the next song. And then this is just power and ground here. So obviously I don't have uh, the high school's master clock at home because it's a rather large unit and it's built into the wall. Uh, so what I've done for now, just for testing purposes, is this is an AT Tiny, just another little microcontroller, and I have it set so it pulses this line on for 10 seconds, and then off for 3 seconds. And uh, I just 
of this little guy. A little LED in there. So you can see that. There we go. So right now it's on, obviously. So now we can check out our iPod here and So you can see it's playing, and then it turns off and cues the next song. Then on, wait for five seconds, and play. Then off, and then it'll cue the next song. And on, wait five seconds, play. So normally, of course, uh, the master clock turns it on for four minutes, and then it'll have it off for several hours. But, that works. And everything should be working just fine. So this will actually control the music in the hallways now. And then this just has an audio line output, which also comes off the 30-pin connector. Audio line output, and that goes to the amplifier that drives the speakers in the hallways. That's really distracting. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, and that was the most elegant solution I could think of. And, uh, next project will be, um, shrinking that all down so it fits into a nice little package like this. And, uh, so you can just take the iPod and stick it in there and away it goes. And, uh, this little dock was... I think it was a dollar and fifty cents on eBay, and you know it, it's there's nothing inside of it basically, but um, it'll have uh, the Arduino chip, not the Arduino board because that's kind of expensive. But it'll have one of these little chips and the stuff to make it work in there, and everything to let it interface with the iPod. And overall, it should be a very um, inexpensive little unit. Um, yeah, so that should be quite nice. Anyway, thanks for watching.